Welcome to the Grace Hand Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I want to read Yo. you something I came across on Reddit. All right. And I want you. I want to Fair read enough. you this story, and All then right. I want to talk about uh, talk about it. All right. Hold okay. It. It's not even like a story per se. All right. Give me one second. Oh yeah, I'll give you a second. So I'm going to start reading it while you uh, pay attention to me and nothing else. So the guy says. My girlfriend insists on buying branded versions of everything, even though I think there's little difference a lot of the time. Fair. Our Cocoa Pop spend was ridiculous. It had its own column on our monthly budget. So I knew that something had to change. Over the course of five months, I've been topping her genuine Cocoa Puff box off with the cheap Aldi's equivalent. Nice. On the first month, I started with a ratio of 80% genuine to 20% fake. Oh, no. Slow, I've slowly tapered down so that the product I'm supplying to her is now 5% legit cut with 95% Aldi. She started complaining about Kellogg's, quote, ruining the old recipe at about 40% real. She wasn't anno- <laughs> she, <laughs> she wasn't annoyed enough, though, to change cereal, so I pressed on. I'm wondering what other products I can swap out, possibly tea bags or toilet paper. Wow. For, first question I have, is this guy the asshole? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we playing games? Why are we playing games with, with the my girls' cool? Cocoa Pops? Yeah, you start with that, the next thing I know, you're putting period blood in your spaghetti. Wow. wow. I'm serious, I was going to say you're using old condoms. Uh, well, I mean, that could happen, too. I don't. I don't like the game. You switch out my craft singles with like fake craft singles. I'm gonna notice. Oh, like the cheap ones that taste like plastic. If <laughs> they literally uh, the plastic that they're wrapped in is the same thing as the cheese that you mm, eat. Cheese is not supposed to have that sheen to it. Man. No, it's no, not no, supposed it doesn't to reflect no. light like that. No, it's just not like. I just thought, like, like I, mean, I, think, I think you gasped at the perfect spot. The part where he was like, she started talking about them changing the recipe at that's, 40%. That's dirty. You know, how, how, what do you think about that? Do I would have noticed. Do you, think it's a, do you think it's just like a funny, ha-ha, jokey I think this, girlfriend? I think this post is a joke. I don't think he really did this. Because I'm trying to think about myself. Do I'm you, very observant, especially with foods I like. Yeah. Right. Like, I like if if I had like say it was Cheez Its, and like and 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 I shared expenses, and my person I share expenses was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start mixing in some like dollar store Cheez Its in this box. I would know the first fucking Cheez It I bit into that wasn't a real <laughs> Cheez It. I'd be like, who put these fake Cheez? Especially when you got to like fifty fifty and shit. Like you you hold them in your hand and they be mm-hmm. different colors. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. I either this bitch is oblivious. Uh, but the fact she made a comment makes me feel like she she it's deep like, down she knew yeah deep dude. down she knew it's like when they're putting crushed glass in the food guy's food in Oz and he doesn't know any better but see and this is this is what I'm talking about is that I don't like it is it's humorous all right I laughed at it it's, it it's was fun. funny it is it is funny but also it's like it's kind of effed up because you gaslight me. You got me thinking I'm going crazy because I, the food that I'm eating doesn't taste the same. I She's think like I might have. She's sad that Kellogg's ruined her face. Exactly. Cereal. This chick is walking around taking COVID tests and talking to her chemotherapist. I don't, you know, you never know, man. She's like, I don't know. I, I don't taste things the same. My Cocoa Puffs, the one thing that I have in life that brings me joy to the point where I'm willing to spend large sums of money every month to budget it within two. And you take that from me. My, my second, you take my second, that from me. My second question is who has one food item that has its own category in your budget? And if you do, shouldn't that be a problem in its own? Listen, listen, listen. We ain't here to judge this young lady, all right? <laughs> this, all right? this chick's like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Cocoa this, Pops. This, this chick is just le- living her life, man, all right? So, so what if she wants to buy branded cereal? There's nothing wrong with that. How much, ro- how much do you have to buy that? to have a category on your budget? Brother, I can't help if they broke. I could buy a box of cereal every week and not, have, not, not even blink an eye. What if he's so buying- could you. I, could buy I don't understand what these people budget is, that they're like, oh, I can't afford cereal. Get the fuck, go get a better job. 
<laughs> he should have her go get a better job so she can afford brand name cereal. Yes, I mean, look, he did. He did say he shopped at Aldi's. Look, I'm just saying, man, is that I don't see anything wrong with putting that bowl of cereal. If it's a little bit too expensive, it's an expense. He, she didn't see a problem with it. He apparently did. And yeah. Uh, apparently enough to just take a little social experiment under his belt. What's going to be the next social experiment? You're going to put your your hot brother Steve in the same room He's with her and have him hit her. on her? He's going to change her antidepressants with Advil. This is what I'm I mean, <laughs> exactly. I don't know what He's you're like. I just of. I just took a chip off her antidepressant and put a little bit of Advil in there. Next thing you know, I'm at zero. Per I told her that she didn't need it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And next thing you know. You never know what's going to happen. He's just taking her vodka and putting water in it, and then she's acting drunk on freaking See, water. <laughs> I don't like that, man. That makes me... That ma you can't trust that, that person. That makes me uncomfortable. Exactly. I and would, this is what I'm saying. All right. Like, hot take. Hmm. I don't know if it's so hot. If I was this girl and I found out, I'd break up with that dude over that. 100% yes. 100% yes. 100% yes. <laughs> You're not performing little experiments and then presenting your data in this little aha moment to me, you fucking piece of shit. You aren't doing that. You're not. It's not going to happen, man. Get the hell out of here. Move on. Like, Kick I rocks, like, buddy. I feel like if I would, I would be like, what else in my life is a sham right now? I wouldn't exactly. trust anything else she did after For you that. to be able to sit there, look me in the eye, and basically flat out lie to me and say, hey, here's your bowl of cereal, honey. Dude. If I literally, if I was in the situation and I went to my, right. my partner and I was like, honey, I'm bummed. Fucking Kellogg's changed their recipe. And I knew it was my fault. And I was like, oh, that Just that sucks, baby. Like, there, I would flip sitting, my shit, sitting dude. Sitting there fucking giggling to himself. Oh, <laughs> recipe. She only knew I was saving $3 a month to make yo, her go yo, crazy. What kind of goddamn sociopath is that, man? I don't know. That's insane. <laughs> it, it is. It, really it is insane. Is. It it really is. Somebody call the police. <laughs> <laughs> call call the meat wagon. Call the goddamn <laughs> cops, man. This man needs to be put behind bars. This is disgusting behavior. Wow. This is the problem with the Andrew Tate generation that you've raised. Oh, is he Jonas. a tater? Probably sounds like one. I should have checked his his, his post I'm, history. That's what everyone does on Reddit. They're all like, "Oh, you have a funny post. Let me check your post history." Yeah, yeah, that, yeah got a point there. Yeah, yeah. we'll get you, you. You write something popular, that we'll get your post history checked. Yeah, and don't be a woman. Oh wow, we're just looking for that one picture. Lord, it is funny when you see somebody post a post, and then like they're all like, it'll post be like about post. her boyfriend or something, and then they'll be like, "So is your boyfriend the forty-two-year-old you talked about, the thirty-year-old you talked about, or the seventeen-year-old? You've talked about many different people of different ages being your boyfriend. Which one is the real one?" Yeah, yeah be careful out there. Yeah, we don't just all of them. You don't lie on the same Reddit account. I mean, maybe she ain't lying. If you're dating a 17 year old a 25 year old and a 42 year old each one of them give you something that you need different yeah. once get you jail time the 17 year old and let's uh, well yeah i was yeah, okay yeah fair. <laughs> fair 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 yeah fair one way or another it's gonna get you jail time i was gonna say well, what if she's 17 and i'm like mm. and the 42 year old's gonna yeah, go to jail yeah there's yeah. some jail time yeah, on there's, you. no matter what spectrum. if you're dating somebody 17 you're going to jail yeah. so i you know what jonas I'm, I'm going back to the topic at hand i would suggest is that you do not lie and a lie can be omission of the truth just as much as it can be a straight up fabrication of the truth yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, well, she didn't ask. Exactly, bro. Nah, bro, don't work that way. What that, that guy's a douchebag. Obviously, a child. You can tell this is a young child because, like I said, you can't afford a you bowl eat, of cereal. I bet you he tries to Dutch oven her in bed. <laughs> I bet you he does. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> calls her bitch just wow. like. As a <laughs> <don't>, <laughs> Stop being a bitch. You know, yeah, you know guys. All right. I don't know if that's no? the truth. No, I don't I, think this so. is the guy I'm picturing in my head. The guy doing the kind of stuff that he does. I yeah. can maybe see that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Not like the average or me, but that guy. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I mean. Yeah. You know what that archetype of guy would yeah. do. He's, <laughs> he's the one that asked her questions that no one could answer and then calls her stupid. Yeah. I'm the only one that over love you. He's like, I thought you were good at math. Why can't you answer that the quadratic equation in your head? Stupid. You're like, excuse me? I'm the only one that could love you. Yeah, wow. I'm the only one that could wow. ever love you. Is some, some weird <laughs> energy in the room tonight. How are your Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> he, I, I just see him. He's like, baby, them Cocoa Puffs get any better? And she's like, they seem worse. Bro, oh, that sucks. Maybe you should stop eating them. I really hope that the Reddit super sleuths out there were able to, through the story, track down his girlfriend and inform her 
of the uh, of the injustice that has been delivered to her without her consent, without yeah. her knowledge, dude. That is all about consent, man. Anyways. Yeah, don't F with people's food. Oh, that's the worst. What if I'm allergic to cheap cocoa puffs? <laughs> I don't know if there's a different composition chemically. Nah, I might die. Maybe. I don't know. She bought the vegan chocolate cocoa puffs, and he got they her have the those? real ones. Um, anyways, that's, time, that's, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Tantor. Uh, we are out.